just kind of junk, but I want to talk to you guys about the junk that I hoard and why I think I should be hoarding this junk. Um, first of all, I have all kinds of shit like this. Old pins for things. Um, I use these as punches because they work a lot, like this was free uh, compared to a snap-on one. I also have a very large bolt from doing the center bearings on a grater or on a grater, a loader, and that's what this came out of. So this is also a great punch. It has a nice flat head on it, obviously because it's a bolt, so it kind of protects your hands. The next thing of junk that I keep is things like this. Uh, this is a welded out bearing race. As you can see, I welded this. This was also out of that loader that I did the center bearings on. I kept this because when you weld the inside of the races, it shrinks the race. So this actually works perfectly for pressing the new ones in because it's really easy to get back out. Uh, the second thing in this drawer that I have is this. This is a bushing out of a skid steer boom to coupler. Uh, I kept this because I actually ground it down and made it smaller uh, so I could use this to press new bushings in and old bushings out of future skid steers. So I know everybody thinks dealer mechanics are just a bunch of spoiled brats that have lots of tools, which is true, but I made this out of a bolt and some flat stock not real pretty, but I made this. Uh, I had an old old loader. I don't remember what it is, to be honest with you, but I was doing the differential uh, work on it. I was resealing the diff lock piston and the brakes. The diff lock piston actually pressed into the side of the um, center case of, for the center housing of the differential where the carrier mounts. And we did not have the tool to press that in and I tried using a hammer, I fucked up the seal. So I made this. This goes on each side of the piston and it draws it in, presses it in, works great. I have not used this since. So the last thing in my toolbox that I have that is junk, well, some people would consider junk, is this thing. This is a PTO shaft out of, I believe, an 8R or a 7R tractor. I don't really remember. Uh, the PTO shaft was junk. We replaced it because uh, the farmer had damaged these splines and it really just wasn't reusable. Um, I kept this as a punch. And the way I use this is it is actually heavy enough to just swing into stuff. I use this to take the pins out of a 9570 front axle with the suspended front a uh, suspension front axle I used this to pound the pins out um, I held it and I had another mechanic help me hit it but once I got the pins moving you could actually just use this and smack it smack the pins and it's long enough to go all the way through uh, which was really nice um, but this I love this thing so the next part of my hoarding junk episode is I have a shitload of these boxes over here. I have five of them and they are all full. Um, this particular one has a bunch of plastic caps. You know all the caps you get off of hydraulic stuff from the factories um, with plastic little caps on them. All of them go in here. This is full. I actually have a box too of electrical connectors. Uh, I have two of them. This is for bulkhead connectors, so I just have big, big controller plugs, big, uh, just anything that's a bulkhead style or EC controller connector. This is my other box of connectors. Uh, that is, yeah, it's full. Every harness that uh, does not get submitted back to warranty or is not under warranty. I cut the ends off and put them in here. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty much the fuck full. 
but I have all kinds of shit in there. It's actually really useful, especially when you got a parts department that doesn't stock stuff like that. Um, that's really useful. The other one I can show you is um, my hydraulic fittings. So I have a whole box of hydraulic fittings, obviously you guys just saw. Uh, this is everything I've collected from extra parts from kits, uh, plugs, some, some plugs that came from um, hydraulic pumps and stuff that were from the factory that had these in there. Um, I got all kinds of stuff in here. This is my little treasure box of hydraulic fittings. So speaking of hydraulic fittings and junk. Here is my caps and plugs drawer. Uh, the people on Instagram absolutely love this drawer of mine. Uh, it took me years to finally actually organize all my caps and plugs so I don't lose them, to be honest with you. But yeah, there are those. And the other, the very last, uh, Kind of tip I have about junk and organizing junk is my bolt spin. This is my bolt spin. It I used to be that person that kept my bolt in a five gallon bucket and I was the person that would have to dump the entire bucket out uh, every single time I needed a new bolt or a bolt from my collection. So I finally just downsized and organized them in my box as shown. I actually have a whole nother drawer that's guide studs, but I'm not going to go into that right now. Organize your bolts, your caps and plugs, and have your other stuff in nice little neat containers like I just showed you. It makes a world of difference on the cleanliness of your bay. I'm not perfect about that, but it helps. So.